everybody. So can you guys hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> you can hear me, right? Say, I can hear you if you can hear me. And then just to make sure you can see me too. All right, finally. It was such a challenge to get this to work. So I'm hoping that it will go the rest of the stream like this and nothing will change or, or anything. So, okay, great. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm so glad you can hear me. So um, you'll notice that in the chat is um, Sugar Bunny Helper. So that is also me. Um, I might end up having someone take over this job for me, but for now it's me. Um, and the reason that I have it is because I know that during the other live streams, there were issues where um, someone's comment would show that they would comment something first. And on my end, it would show something different. So I just wanted to have a totally separate account that um, I could monitor, I guess, the comments. That way I wouldn't have to go back and then um, give, um, you know, in the next live stream, the, you know, extra entries just for the comments that didn't show up right. So um, this is totally on its own, um, but I just labeled it Sugar Bunny Helper, so it wouldn't be confusing. So whatever I see on my end is the, um, the final judgment on which comment came in first. That way we can just finish up a live stream, and then when we have the next one, it's totally moved on to the next one. So... Um, my puppies are actually inside napping right now. I let them out for um, a little while before I started the stream so they would be calm and not barking. But um, yeah, so uh, let's see. i um, going to make sure I can do this. All right, so um, I did attempt to do this stream last week. It just did not work. I couldn't get it right. People couldn't hear me. Um, it was just a mess. So I'd started to open up a toy, this Hatchimals. Um, and so you can see the package is off. And when I open it, you'll see that there is one egg already open. But I'll just go over what I got so you guys can see it. So um, inside was this little uh, deer, I guess. It's, I don't know what the names. I'm really bad with this. But the name of the animals when they mix the two together. But it's like a deer and maybe a ram or something, but um, I love the little wings on it. It's so cute. So whatever this is called, this is what it is. But um, And I didn't go over what this was. It's a season two Hatchimals for those who are curious. But I know that they have a new one. I believe they're in purple. Well, I think they actually have a couple new ones because they have the seashell ones and then the Easter ones, which have like um, the two pack has a bunny on the package, but we have one more egg to do. So all you have to do is just rub it until the heart turns pink. There might be other colors on the other things, but I think they're mostly just pink. For some reason, I think there was an orange one once, but so it's ready to hatch. And then you just push it in. Ooh, it's got a tail. Ooh, it kind of looks like a dragon or a seahorse. And I like to save as much of the egg as possible. I really like the eggs. I think they're really cute. Oh my goodness. I think it's like a squirrel or a chipmunk. That is super cute. So, oh, Kitty Sam's World says that they, um, the new ones have uh, color changers. So, I don't know what this is. If it's a squirrel and a skunk. Or just a skunk. But again, the wings are just, they're so pretty. And I love the glitter that they use. It's not just silver, it's like iridescent. It's rainbowish. I don't know if you can kind of pick it up on that, but yeah, you can see it just a little bit. So, but that is the two that I got, or that, those are the two that I got. And surprisingly, it came with a checklist. I'm so happy for that because normally I'm like, I don't know how many there are to collect unless you get the bigger packages. So, we got the second one and then the fifth one. So there are six to collect and they're from the Citrus Coast. So in case you were wondering, that is what is inside of there. So a little bit of pickup and we'll do qu two questions, guys. So through the Spirit Riding, the Riding Free Blind Bag. I think it's this one that you're talking about, Spirit the Horse. Yes, I'll do that one next. So I've never opened one of those. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, I was trying to come on at five, but I was having problems still. Like I thought I had it all worked out and then I tried it and 
it didn't do anything. So then I had to, to, I forgot to click one thing and that's all it took. And now it's working. So, so happy, super happy. All right, guys, here's the first question. What is the name of JoJo's tour? JoJo's going to be going on a tour. What is the name of the tour? <laughs> I know, checklist, yay. Your favorite animal is a horse? My favorite animal is a bunny. Chris Rogers, you got it. It is the dream tour. Very close to Nia and then Kika's world. Came very close. So Chris Rogers. Chris Rogers, here we go. Okay, so question number two. Which main My Little Pony has butterflies as a cutie mark? So I know there's more than one My Little Pony, but it's one of the main My Little Ponies. <laughs> Favorite animal is a penguin. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Kikos. So Fire Angel, you got it, it's Fluttershy. So Fire Angel. It's a little different not seeing Erica Evelyn up there. So there you go, Fire Angel. All right, so we said we would open this spirit blind bag. So it's DreamWorks movie Spirit, which I love, and they have a uh, series on Netflix. So this is a Wave 1 bag. I don't think I've ever seen a Wave 2, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. I've only ever seen these ones. So it's really cute. I love the packaging, how it's got the like... The little, um, I guess it's just a fence. It's not really a stable. It could just be the holding pen, you know, but, and then it has like a little kind of barn cardboard structure. So if you're careful in opening it, which I don't think, I mean, yeah, you still have to kind of open it. It doesn't, doesn't slide off, but if you're careful, then you can actually keep this and use it. You know what? I didn't put any scissors by me. So, um, let's see. I might have something else sharp. Maybe this pen will work. You don't want to draw on my package though. All right, I got it. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so the little bottom says spirit, and that's where the tag was, so it came off. And then pull off, okay. So there's that, very cute. I like it when the packaging, you can continue to use it after as part of the toy. And then I do need something sharp for this. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to pull it back and I have something sharp. I will not encourage you guys to use something like this to open up your toys. <laughs> so, all right, got it open there. Oh, I don't know the names of all of the new ones from the show, but here's who we got. Hopefully, oh, there's a checklist, but I don't know. Okay, let's take it out of the bag. I don't know if it has the names of on it. So if you guys watch it, you will have to let me know. So I believe this is a Clydesdale, but I mean, I could be wrong, but pretty sure it's a pretty big horse. And that's kind of typical right here down on the feet um, to have the fur like that or hair is it fur or hair on a horse so let's see what is on the checklist ah, no names so we got number six guys we've got number six is the name boomerang okay his name is boomerang thank you guys so boomerang so the spirit one is right here and then oh I forgot her name I knew it though but that's the girl he likes, I believe. And then I don't know the other ones. I like the painted one. So cute. I think this is an Appaloosa, maybe, right? And the back has nothing on it, in case you guys are curious. I'm always wondering. I like it when I get to see everything, because if they don't show me, then I'm like, wait, what was on the back? So there are eight in total. So official mark of spirit. Where is that? I don't see it. But OK. Oh, okay, it's just a little, like, dusty. The plastic kind of has, like, this, this... I don't know. I don't know what kind of coating that is, but it's... You can just wipe it right off, so... Not a big deal, but... We can... Actually, you could just put him back in his thing, or stick him out. You can always cut off this. But, um, that's useful. His little barn. And then his pen here, too. I wonder if there's play sets that you can, like, hook this up to. But if you had a barn, you could always just put it right up to that. And I don't know about this. I don't think it opens. I think you can take it off. You can just take it off. 
but um, there he goes. There you go, he's so fancy. <laughs> I like horses. I think my three favorite animals would be bunnies, of course, and then I want to say dogs, but I just really like Dachshunds. I like dogs though, but Dachshunds are just the best. And then horses. So, and then horses kind of count as unicorns too, I feel, but. All right, guys, time for another two questions. So you ready? Yeah, yeah, you guys, go ahead and click that like button if you haven't already. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for reminding everybody. <laughs> Can I hire my voice, please? I will get a little bit closer. All right, is that good? All right, so question number three. So um, what is the name of Harry Potter's owl? What's the name of Harry Potter's owl? <laughs> Harry Potter has an owl. What is the name of his owl? Hedwig, pretty little Anika. Yep, it is Hedwig, so pretty little Anika. All right, there we go. All right, next question is, what is the brown rabbit in Alice in Wonderland called? There are actually two answers for this that I'll accept. So it could be his real name or the name that the movie just kind of calls him a lot. So <laughs> you're welcome. So what is the name of the rabbit, the bunny? <laughs> it is the March Hare. So just your everyday weird got it. Um, the Mad Hatter is the um, the guy with the red hair. So the March Hare, or I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. It's uh, H A I G H A. It's like Hyiga. But so I think that was in the um, like the real life version of um, Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp in it. I think they might have said his name. So just your everyday weird. I don't know if you guys can hear I have it's not mine but it's someone else's dog is outside barking so sorry about that but um there we go and we're done with this one all right let me show you guys something I've had these before but um people have been picking them so I just decided to throw another one of these in there because they're really cute they're candy and it's lip gloss, so plus the rainbow color, and it's a cute little package, so you really can't go wrong. So this is something that will be in the prizes if you decide to choose the 10 prizes. Um, so what I do is that there's a lot of the blind bags. I give away a few that I keep just to add to my collection, but for the most part, they're given away. Um, your choice of prize for the winner today will be 10 blind bags from past and this um, live stream today that you can choose from and I'll send you pictures or a Jojo Siwa bow. So, and I may decide to do different um, prizes in the future, maybe like a Roblox gift card or other things like that, just depends. So we'll see how it goes and I'll, you know, have polls on my channel to um, find out what you guys like and then we'll go from there. So, um, do Descendants. Um, I actually have a list of questions that I've done. So um, that way I'm not on the spot trying to make up something and then not know the answer myself, but, I am super curious for these Mashems Wareums. Um, they're pretty new. Uh, there is one showing and one mystery one. So, but they're like little rings you can stretch. So bonus Wareum inside. But the one that I picked has a unicorn laying down. I don't know if you can see it too, too clear, but we'll get it out. And then it had a purple top. So that was like a double bonus. But um, I did not try any hacks on this, but it almost looks like you can see through here. So it's like a pinkish color and then over here I see greenish but there's a checklist in there so it may be blocking the actual toy. And you guys know that I love to show you little things that help if you're trying to get the right one that you want. So um, Hatchimals, I've not found any hacks yet unless there's like a placement in the box but I don't know. But these ones you do at least get to see one that you like and, and get it that way. So here we go. The first one, 
<laughs> Jojo got a flat tire in her new car. Is that why it was on the back of the tow truck? So there you go. It is very much like a Moj Moj. And then you can just, oh, it's really, it doesn't, it doesn't even have to stretch very far. It's really easy to stretch. I guess I should have put it on backwards the other way so we could look at it. All right, here we go. How's that look? <laughs> it's a little odd. It's kind of big, but it'll fit. It'll fit a lot of fingers, whether it's big or small, because look at how big this is beforehand. So nobody's going to have fingers that small, but you can see I don't have big hands, but they're adult hands. But they fit me comfortably, so there you go. Little unicorn. Now our mystery one. Let's see who is inside. Okay, a checklist does block it, but I did see that little pinkish color, so it does look like... You can see through the bottom a little bit, so if you are looking, and you can also use your phone light to help you a lot of times, so. I was hoping for a bunny one because I know they have a bunny one, but I did not get a bunny one. It is a seal or a sea lion, I guess. His eyes kind of look like Pac-Man, don't they? Um, I am going to be doing lives like this every Friday now that I've figured this out, unless something comes up, and, um, and I, I will let you guys know, but um, yeah. So, our little sea lion. Oh, other way. Hey there, BVL blind bags. I see you guys. <laughs> so here's my rings, my jiggly rings. And then we got this little package. I guess this can come off. Yeah, you can slide it off and then you can, oh, okay, well the top can come off too. There we go. But it clicks back on. So you can store your rings in there after or whatever else you'd like. It would make a good little jewelry holder. For like rings, you can just peel that off, but I won't do that now. So we are ready for two new questions. Oh wait, pause, hold on, back up. There is a checklist. We've got to go over it. And so series one, wear -ums. Make your own unique fashion statement and collect with friends. So, oh, okay, you can use them in your hair, which yeah, I'm, I'm like so picky with what I put in my hair because I don't like it to get caught. But these actually don't feel like they would tug too much like a rubber band would. But um, you can use them on your cell phone case. I probably wouldn't do that just because it would block my screen. But if you're just looking to put it on there overnight to have it. Or your toes. I would probably wear them on my toes though, to be honest. I wear flip-flops a lot. I love sandals. So they have different colors. There's common rare and ultra rare. There's 24 to collect. So I did not get any of those. We got some chicks, kitties, a bear. A, uh, I was about to call it a lion, but it says sheep. Um, a narwhal, some cats again, a little penguin. Someone said a penguin was their favorite. <laughs> Friday is the best day. <laughs> Friday, sometimes it depends on if uh, your work is, Friday is the actual Friday or if Friday is your beginning day, huh? Um, Snuggles, a puppy, and then Lucky Fluff, the unicorn. Okay, so we got Silafina, Silafina, I think. So, and it is a regular green, so it's probably a common. Yeah, it's green common for that one. And then I've got the yellow uh, unicorn, which is Twinkles there. And then here's the rest of that checklist for you guys. And then they've got a cute little trio down there, but Twinkles is also a common green background. So um, I want to say they had in the box, you could see probably about half of these are shown. So I'm assuming that they are going to show all the commons and not the um, the rare ultra rare ones. So, you know, there's a good amount of them that you can pick at least one that you've been wanting from it. All right. And this is just probably instructions, which doesn't make sense to have on the inside because you've already opened it. All right, so back to questions, you guys. All right, um, number five. Here's an LOL Surprise question. You guys ready? All right, which LOL Surprise hair goals doll, the hair goals, do I really want? So there's one LOL Surprise hair goals that I really, really want, and which one is it? Tell me your name. Hmm. 
Snow Bunny, Fire Angel, you got it. Snow Bunny is the right answer. I really want Snow Bunny. I wouldn't mind getting doubles and triples of Snow Bunny. She is my new favorite LOL. So Fire Angel, you did get it. <laughs> it's on different levels there. I was looking away when I started to write the second line. All right. Um, number six. In what video game can you find a loot llama? So video games, guys. Throwing you off, huh? In what video game can you find a loot llama? I only actually have two hair goals right now that I've opened. I have a lot more, but I haven't opened so many. So what video game can you find a loot llama? Nate Snyder, you are correct. It's Fortnite. So um, yeah, so you can find a loot llama in Fortnite. I actually started to write Fortnite. Let's get rid of that one. Nate Snyder. <laughs> I like Fortnite. I went to the, um, the thing where Marshmallow came in. He had the concert in Pleasant Park. That was pretty neat. Okay, so... Question... Was that two? Yep, yeah, that was two. Okay. So, we've got to go to another bag. Another blind bag. <laughs> you did too? I actually went to both of them. Did you see that video? That I loved it. It was so good. I liked the music, everything. It was just really cool. Um, which, which, which blind bag next, you guys? Pick it. And I'll show you this. So, something else to add to the prizes you can select is birthday cake flavored lip balm. Super cute. So, can never go wrong with lip balm. And I like the rainbow colors. So, there we go. That's something else. <laughs> Harry Potter, all right, Harry Potter. All the way in the back, it's a long reach for me. So we've got a Harry Potter collector's key ring. Look, there's his owl, I asked about. Oh, okay, I hope I didn't have another question that this would give away, no, I do. I do have another question, but it won't give it away having this on there. So, um, collect them all, looks like there's Harry. Hermione, Ron, Draco, Rubius, Hagrid, Dobby, more Harry Potter on a broom, and Hermione, and his Hedwig, and then I don't know what this exclusive is. Um, exclusive A, but this one, that's that's got to be a Quidditch ball. It has to be. So, oh man, I don't have the scissors. Okay, let's see if I can get this without the scissors. Otherwise, I'll have to go in search of... Oh, I got it. I got it, you guys. I got it. <gasps> oh, wow. I got the exclusive one. These are pretty hard to feel through, and I actually forgot that I think I remember now. I think feeling for the exclusive one. And this one's super easy to feel for, too, but it does have the cardboard, so it makes it a little bit harder. But look at that. The Quidditch, or the, no, the Snitch. It's the Golden Snitch. Yeah, the snitch, you guys, you guys are helping me out. The snitch, it's the Quidditch ball, but it's the golden snitch. So, and it has that little mini keychain on it too, which is pretty cute. Usually it's just the main one, but this one has an additional one. I don't know if that's because an ex it's an exclusive. I don't think so, because I've gotten exclusives before. I got the um, Rapunzel's little um, chameleon. I can't remember his name right now, but yeah, that's pretty neat. I don't think these will fall off. Sometimes you can kind of feel if it's not pretty pretty sturdy or if you shouldn't hang it on your keychain because you know it's going to break or fall off into pieces. But this is actually on there pretty good. So, But texture, a really good texture. I like it. And it is kind of a golden sheen. But that is pretty neat. So, yep, the exclusive. There it is. Exclusive B. All right. Back to two questions. You guys ready? Do the smooshy mushy next. All right. And this I actually do have a, a hack for for you guys. So uh, question number seven. Who did JoJo put a cardboard cutout of in her car? <laughs> Who did JoJo Siwa put a cardboard cutout of in her car? This was all funny. This was very funny. Fire Angel, you got it. It was Justin Bieber. 
So, Fire Angel. Yeah, there was a little debate going on. Uh, Justin, uh, Justin Bieber and um, Jojo Siwa, she had posted pictures of her new car, and he said, burn it. And then everybody just went, ah! It's crazy. Why would you say that? And so she got a cardboard cut out of him and she's been doing or she was doing funny things. I think it's kind of calmed down now, but yeah, it was Justin Bieber. All right. Number eight. What Disney character have I made an LOL surprise custom of? So this is if you actually, you know, know me a little bit and have seen some of my videos or seen any of my posts. I, I've posted this a few times. So which Disney character have I made an LOL surprise custom of? Totally Descendants. You are right. Mini. So there we go. Totally Descendants. <laughs> there you go. Alright. How is this, guys? If you guys have been to my past live streams, is this coming in clearer visually? And now that I used to have it, it's kind of where I have to wait for it to adjust, but I had to but see you can do it's clear, clear, it's clear here. But I remember it could only be like clear right here and everything would always be blurry in the background. So is it coming in better than it used to be? Yeah, oh, awesome, awesome. I love to hear that. It's coming in clear. So, um, and then the audio, I was like, ah, oh, it's... I hope it's about the same, if not maybe a little bit better, but um, I know sometimes people said it was hard to hear me, but I'm glad that it's clearer because it would drive me crazy when I would get really pixelated and I was just like, I've got to fix that. So hopefully this is a great solution. So uh, Smooshy Mushy Air Besties Series 1. These are fairly new as well. Um, for this, uh, if you're trying to look for one, I will tell you that I went through a whole box at the store and people thought I was crazy. Um, there are a lot of the one um, that they have on the box. It's like the little red vine one. Um, there are a lot of packages with the red vine one. So it is a very common one. So, um, and yeah, the one I mean that's on the box, they usually have like a little sample of their um, things on the box. And so you'll see it there. Um, if you get your phone and, or if you have a flashlight just by chance on your person, you can shine it through. And on certain spots here, you can see words or the lettering on the side of the box that the display is you can see the different designs of the packages like the chocolate one is really easy to notice it's got like dripping things on it um, dripping melted chocolate and you can also try it this way too and look through the bottom it's a little bit harder but yeah just shine your light through um, there are different variations of a few of them color wise but for the most part you can kind of see what it is, plus the little things inside the Air Besties kind of show up as little silhouettes through it. So you can tell whether it's a little circle or a long skinny piece, or I've seen the twist, they kind of have bumps on them. But yeah, you can see the shape outline of them, and uh, that helps a lot. In this one, I should have this one, the rainbow. So we'll see if it works. Um, I... I'm pretty sure that it is, but it's not ever guaranteed 100%. I've tricked myself sometimes, but that's what I'm hoping for. So, oh, I knew this was going to be difficult. We'll just keep trying the edge a little bit at a time. And I believe the rainbow one is like a rare. I don't, I don't think they have like a super rare. I think it's just rare. And I don't think it's going to have a checklist on the inside. I'm going to have to poke this with a pen. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Oh, okay, got it a little bit. Ugh. I need those scissors. Okay, I've got I'm gonna use my sharp object again. Something for crafting, but I would not recommend it for you guys. Alright, here we go. Oh, it is not. It is not the rainbow, see? So I got the peach rings. I was, who was I talking to? Somebody had messaged or left a comment on something and they had wanted the peach ring one. I think they said their grandpa liked it, but peach rings are pretty good. I like the apple rings too. So still on the hunt for the rainbow one, but I do like this one. I was hoping I would get the peach ring and the green ring too. So really cute. Um, I know that I've seen some people concerned about if it could pop. And I do think it could, but it's not going to pop super easy. Like, I'm squeezing it pretty good. You can see 
like my finger is almost touching on the inside and it hasn't popped. So, um, did it come with, um, oh no it did, okay here it is. It does come with the little charm keychain so that you can um, hook it on there and hang it, but they're a decent size, these little peach rings, but yep, there it is. All right, I like that. I'll have to get more of those. Okay, question number nine, are you guys ready? <laughs> um, number nine, in Wreck-It Ralph 2, the kitty gets the milkshake and the bunny gets the... This is actually in the advertisement for the movie too, so if you didn't see the movie, you can still get this one. So, in Wreck-It Ralph 2, the kitty gets the milkshake and the bunny gets the... Pancakes! <laughs> Kika's World, yeah, you got it. So, um, let's see how we do this. Do we just do the next one then, Kika? I guess that's what we'll do. So, Ayan Anars Ansari. I probably said that really wrong. So, but I will write it. Ayan Ansari. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I said that wrong. So, there you go. Um... Yep, the bunny gets the pancakes, and I like pancakes. I like the Kodiak cakes. I don't, they're supposed to be like really good for you, full of protein, but I just like them just because. They just, they're like kind of gritty, which I don't know, that doesn't sound appetizing, but I like it, so. All right, question number 10. In the newest How to Train Your Dragon movie, what type of dragon is the new white one that looks just like Toothless? So what kind of dragon is that? I know they've said it in the advertisements um, for the movie, and if you've gotten any of the merchandise at the store, I know it says it on there too, so. <laughs> it's a white dragon, but what kind of dragon is it? Just your everyday weird. It is a light fury. So, a light fury is the type of dragon it is. And uh, Toothless is a night fury. So just your everyday weird. There you go. I, can, I have to tell you guys, I am super happy to be able to do this again. I really miss being able to do this with you guys. This is definitely the highlight of my week. I love going live and being able to chat with you guys and seeing all of you guys here. It's just, it just brings a smile to my face. I love it. All right, you guys, pick something next, and I will show you something else. Um, I've had a lot of these in there, but you guys like them. They get picked a lot. So it's just a little mini doll. This one is not a fairy or anything. Um, hands up in a bun. She's got blue eyes. It's almost like Jojo Siwa. And we've got to settle this debate. We've got to get jo to, Jojo to answer for us what color her eyes are. I've had people tell me they're blue, and in all the pictures that I see, they're green. Um, Claire's has some really big, blow up, blown up pictures of her, and her eyes are green, or hazel at the very least. So, um, yeah, we've got to get that debate settled. So, um, okay, I see... Hello Kitty from c Eaters Forever. I see that's the first one that I have up on there. So, there we go. Hello Kitty Series 1. This was... Wow, where did I get this? I think I found it at Walmart. But I think it was like they were just, you know, finding random things and putting it places, you know, just from over, wherever the year. So, I don't know. It's 2015. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's been sitting there a while. Um, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 12... 12 to collect, um, lots of different kinds, and I'm so bumming without my scissors, I just hope I don't tear this, because I like to be able to look at the checklist after, but we do have the figure, so, oh no, I know I had some around here, let me, let me check again, okay, I found some. They're not, they're, they're little scissors, guys. So I have little scissors. All right. Oh, and I think you could probably shine a light, but if, I mean, if you can find these, then, you know, <laughs> you found um, something that I don't think many people are finding. So 
let's get in to there. Oh, hello kitty. And I think she's, I don't know. I think she's dancing. I was going to say ice skating, but she's not really, she doesn't have any ice skates on. She's just wearing a knit hat. So maybe it's cold. I don't know. I don't know what she's supposed to be doing, but the little pedestal for her is a, um, a bow, which is pretty cute. Her little hello kitty bow. That's normal. Oh, there she goes. Um, not super big. You can see it's like half of my finger. And I guess that's probably about it. Her eyes are green. Thank you guys. They're hazel to blue green. <laughs> um, let's see. It's this one right here. I definitely would have liked the little Hello Kitty in the poodle skirt. That would have been super cute. Or the ballerina. But I mean, they're all really cute. So there's our Hello Kitty blind bag. All right, uh, new questions. You guys ready? Get your fingers on the keyboard. <laughs> this one is super easy. And I've even said it in the stream just a little while ago and I totally forgot. So what kind of dogs do I have? So I've posted about them. I talk about them. I love my little puppies. Not all of them are puppies. They're just all this very small. So they all just seem like puppies. So. Um, pick me pop next. All right, I'll do the pick me pop next you guys So what kind of dog do I have? Dachshunds. Yep, totally descendants. You got it Did I just spell it? Yeah, <laughs> I started to spell it wrong move that one away Totally there we go Descendants Is it There we go All right, pick me pops. So, pick me pops, season two. What are we on? Season five with pick me pops? I don't know, because they've got, I think they had one more after this. It was the orange ones, and then they've got like the pop up ones, and then, man, I'm behind. But I know I've opened up some of the new ones, just not on camera, because <laughs> I can't resist sometimes, you guys. So, I will try to see if I can guess the scent. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I'm really off. And when it's a fruit flavor, it's hard to tell if it's like, a certain kind. I just always think, oh, it's the fruit one, the mixed one, so. Okay, this one smells like caramel corn, and I can't remember what scent, like, that goes. I don't think there's a, maybe there's a caramel corn one. There is a scent, though, that smells like caramel corn, and I've gotten it before, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try to remember, but it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. So, other than the smell, there might be placement. But I did for it to say through the little holes you can kind of see what the color is on the bottom. And I guess I should have guessed it for you guys before we did it. But there was pink. So there we go. Our caramel corn. Why do I have a feeling it's going to be like the golden retriever one? I think I've gotten two of that already. I don't know if that's in this series though. Here we go. And the little thing inside does give it away. So we'll just wait and open up our bag first. Oh, has the little stand it comes with. I didn't know that right away when I first got these. When I first, first, a while ago, got them. I was like, what is this for? And then I figured it out. But, all right, here we go. <gasps> Ooh, it's something different. I, m I might have this, though. It's the koala. And I, I don't remember. I did a video recently, the Pick Me Pop Bubble Drops. And I showed like all the ones I had, not all the duplicates, but at least one of each one that I had. And I think I do have the koala. I know I had the golden retriever that I thought this was, but it still smells like caramel corn. Oh, it might be like caramel apple. We'll find out. Okay, so fluff the koala. There we go, focused. And it's caramel apple. So at least I got it right with the caramel part. And it says, your top koali. And I just saw that I did only one question. So yeah, my bad guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do three questions next. So uh, it's been a while since I've done a stream. So forgive me. And I just saw someone said they sent me fan mail. Now I had gotten a piece of fan mail, which I'll actually show in a second. And um, it didn't have a return name on it. I didn't know if that was because they couldn't tell me. Um, but yeah, let me know if it's yours. 
Um, so here's the different scents. Ooh, watermelon, I bet you it smells really good and great. But then here's the common ones. There's a good little picture if you guys ever wanted to screenshot it. Here's some rare ones. Here's ultra rare, and then the limited edition fancy. Unicorn would have been really cute. And I don't see a single bunny here. Yeah, Tater, the Golden Retriever, smelled like banana. And then here's the ones that you get in the um, two packs. Um, let's see, there's the commons. Yeah, no bunny. No bunny. How oh, dare they? They did put a couple bunnies in the other one. There's the rare. And I know that I have this. I think Posey the pug, I've got like two of. That's ultra rare. We'll, just, we'll call the donkey a bunny. And then the zebra kind of looks like a bunny too, but there's the um, fancy foils. BVL, do you have any of these fancy foils? I want to know what those look like. I'll have to look it up. So, a little koala. I love the way they smell. I have a, I have all of mine in a bag because I'm trying to like reserve the scent because in squishies, if like you don't put it in a bag, the smell goes away after a little while. So I put them all in a bag and every time I open them, I just get a jumbo scent. I don't know, just a bunch of scents all at once. All right, so three questions because I missed. <laughs> I missed one on the other one. So, um, question number 12. Who does Harry Potter marry? So this one you kind of had to watch it to know, um, but yeah, who does Harry Potter marry? You can do just the first name or first and last. Either will be accepted. And... All right, I found what I was looking for. Who does Harry Potter marry? And I saw Ginny came from Totally Descendants. You got it. Oh. Totally Descendants. There we go. Alright, here's that fan mail I was telling you guys about. Has no name except for on the inside, um, on the letter, and for privacy reasons, just because I keep you guys' privacy um, private, and um, I won't say what it is or show the letter because I haven't covered it, but um, yeah, if this is yours, let me know. Thank you so much for it. Um, yeah, but had this cute little envelope, little bunny drawn, and they sent me some pictures in there too, some pictures they took with their camera, so I thought that was really cool. You guys really, really made my day with that. It was, it was just so special to get that. I really appreciate it. All right, um, question number, is it John? That's the one you sent? John Collins, okay, John, send me an email, John. I wanna tell you thank you, if you're allowed to, if your parents will say okay, so. Um, number 13, uh, what popular Nintendo video game featured falling shapes formed by cubes that the player had to piece together to form rows? So that's kind of a long one, I'll repeat it, but. Um, think about it piece piece by piece. So there's a popular Nintendo video game and it had falling shapes that were formed by cubes that the player had to piece together to form rows. Oh, you guys are good. I was worried that this one was going to be hard. Um, Tetris, Fire Angel, you got it. It was Tetris. I love Tetris. I'm really good at Tetris. So here we go. Fire Angel. <laughs> All right, so um, next one, number 14. Number 14, what is the name of the song JoJo filmed at her house? What is the name of the song that JoJo filmed at her house? <laughs> I like him when they're slow eyes. It is my story, Abrar Thabet. So there you go, Abrar Thabet is my story. Jojo Siwa is my story. I love the little cameo of um, Bobo running down the stairs. That was cute. So there you go. 
And there was Dr. Mario, but Dr. Mario wasn't formed by cubes. It was like a pill that was cut into two pieces. I remember I borrowed Dr. Mario from a friend of mine when I was younger, and I had a black and white TV. <laughs> and so it was very difficult to play that game on a non-color TV. Um, all right, that was three questions. So we will open up another one. I saw people asking for the Dorables. So we will open up the Disney Dorables. Now this is the Series 1. Uh, series 2 has the green um, house on it, like the roof and the sides and everything. 78 to collect. You can get two figures in here. Well, you do get two figures. But there is a chance that you could get a third. So you can get up to three in there. Um, I have only a handful of these, not too many, but they're really cute, and I saw some really cute craft ideas that I really want to try with these. Like, you can make these into charms, so, um, if you really liked a certain Disney character, you could put it on a necklace or a bracelet or make an anklet, which I love anklets. But, um, let's see if we got three. Oh, I think it's just two. I'm pretty sure, but I see this is a horse. Isn't this Rapunzel's horse? Or it's... Well, it's not really Rapunzel's horse, is it? It's, um, it's the other guy, but I'm not sure. I think it might be, but he's got an apple on his head. I can't remember his name. I'm so bad, right on the spot. I'm like, I know all these names, but I can't think of it. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I, okay, I'm drawing a blank, but I know this name. This is Lilo. We've got Lilo. And when she was doing her dance or her dance recital, she um, was wearing that outfit, which is really cute. And then there's the top. I like the way that feels. I like textures. So both the eyes are glittery, sparkly. This is kind of missing some, but I don't know if that's intentional. I think it might be because he's kind of supposed to be looking upward, so I think that's part of his like eyelid there. But I do not know, so I don't want to ruin this. Oh, okay, cool. <gasps> no, wait! Oh, I take it back! I take it back! I take it back. Um, there is a third bag. That's really cool. I've opened up one of these, one or two of these before, and um, did not get a third one. So I guess I didn't know what to look for. There's a third one, guys. Happy day. I have seen Twisty Pets before. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the chat right now. Can I do a question about you? But easy. A question about me, but easy. Well, I have I have questions already made, but um, they might be some. There might be some that are easy. So, I got a glittery mini. Glittery mini. She can go right along with my uh, little mini LOL custom and my mini mouse ears. Really cute. I like that one. It'd be easy to, if you wanted to take yours and just make it glittery like that, you could put some glitter nail polish on it or something, but you've got to get your parents' permission because sometimes they don't want you to change your toy. They want to leave it just as it is. But that was really neat that we got three in this. So I know there's a checklist. Oh, and there's a stand. I don't know if, I think it does come with one stand. I don't think it's just because I got the special one, but maybe I'm wrong. And there. It's a little stand for our little mini. There we go. Focused. So focused. All right. Um, Disney Dorable. So the white's common. Green is rare. Blue is ultra rare. Pink is limited edition. And, well, light pink is limited edition. And then hot pink is special edition. So let's see what we got. I'll go through this kind of quickly, I guess. I don't know if this Minnie Mouse is the one that I just got. But it would be blue, but we'll keep going just in case. Okay, Maximus. There we go. The horse, Maximus. It's a common. And then Lilo Luau um, is a common. So here's more and more and more. Judy Hopps Farmer. I want that one. I've got Judy Hopps the set. So limited edition are these ones. There's Winnie the Pooh, Monsters, Inc., Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, Frozen. All right, so it looks like that is the only mini, and she is blue, and I don't remember what that is. Okay, ultra rare. She is ultra rare, so there we go. You need that mini? Aw. I actually have someone that loves mini, but um, 
Yeah, it, it might end up going to them. <laughs> but yeah, it's a family member. They love Minnie. They're gonna be like, why do you have this? And, I don't know. I don't know. Because I like it. It was cute. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll get those out of the way and we'll do two questions. So, be thinking of what we want to open next. I still have the um, My Little Pony Roblox. I've got these, uh, it's a Crystal Baby Fantasy, Squinkies Dewdrops, The Mighty Beans, uh, Charm You, and then the Calico Critters in the back here. Let's see. There we go. There. Kind of, kind of see everything. Mostly. So, all right. Question number 15. All right. So, name the LOL surprise doll that is supposed to be Britney Spears. Roblox next? I see a lot of Roblox. All right. We'll do Roblox next, guys. Roblox. So, name the LOL surprise doll that is supposed to be Britney okay. Spears. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oops Baby, Fire Angel. I see Fire Angel with it in there first. So yeah, Oops Baby is supposed to be the Britney Spears doll. They have a lot of them. Some of them are more, more obvious than others, but yeah, there's like a Lady Gaga one, and then there's um, uh, like Michael Jackson. There's a few others. Miley Cyrus. Okay, so Fire Angel. All right. <laughs> Oops Baby is Fire Angel's favorite hair goal. You guys already know what mine is. It's anything bunny and snow bunny. Snow bunny it is. All right, next question. <laughs> here's, here's, I, I, I know I did some candy ones before, but here's one that it's like, it's kind of like a commercial or something you hear a lot. Um, so what cereal, like a morning cereal you eat with milk, what cereal is magically delicious? <laughs> Katy Perry is Slatter? Slater? Oh. All right, question is, what cereal is magically delicious? Oh, Caden's World. Caden's World got it. It is, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I take it back. I'm so sorry, Caden's World. It's not tricks. It's Lucky Charms and C1Naders forever actually got it. C1Naders, Nate, c one Nate, ors forever. I don't know why my mind went to thinking about tricks, but yeah, it was, um, it's Lucky Charms. The, the little leprechaun guy, he says they're magically delicious. Yeah, tricks, what do they say? They say silly rabbit tricks are for kids. <laughs> There's some interesting cereal names. Frost, Frost Flax. Oh, Splatter. Oh, is Katy Perry Splatter? Oh, I didn't know that. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Um, all right, the 1516, okay, that was it. All right, Roblox it is, you guys. So here we go. It is the letter B. And on the back, let's see. It kind of feels like an L. So, and it's just by pressing on this. You can actually almost, you can see the outline if you press it onto the paper enough. So if you were trying to get all the blocks in one color to spell out Roblox and you couldn't find all of them on the front, all the letters, then, you know, you could just press on the back and feel for the other one. But other than that, I don't know that there's a hack for this. Maybe there's a placement in the box, but um, these are see-through compared to other ones that I've opened. And I know there's a purple one that's kind of see-through too. Um, the gray one and the brown one, and there was like a red brick one, were not. But um, I didn't try any kind of hacks on here, didn't shine my light through it, so I don't know. But we'll open it up and find out. Okay, here we go. Right, um... And I guess I should have gone over this, but I've opened up so many I kind of forget to sometimes. So it includes one figure, accessories, and the collector's checklist, and the exclusive virtual item code, which I have a ton of those that I need to enter in online and show you guys so that we can find out what I've got, um, because I'm curious too. 
All right, here we go. Oh, it's see-through. So I bet you could shine your light through there and kind of figure it out if you really, really wanted to. The brighter the light, the better. And I don't know, is this guy blowing bubble gum? Who is this? Who is this guy? He's got a little mini guy in him. I think his shirt is backwards. Yeah. So on the front, he's got a little mini Roblox character in there. Is this to a game? Is this inside a game? Is this something I don't know of? Then he's got a bag of noobs. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's, that's funny. But it's kind of mean. Oh look, are they climbing out or are they climbing in? They're probably trying to escape, but he kind of looks like he's reaching his arm up. Maybe he's reaching his arm up to help. But that's really funny. It's kind of mean, but it's funny too. Alright, so he's got his hair. Yeah, he looks fierce. He's not messing around. He wants you to know how to play right. Or you can't be on his server. And we'll give him legs too, I guess. I guess we'll let him walk around. These are really easy to clip together. You just need to push it a little bit harder, but um, yeah, once you get a bunch, you can interchange them. I have a lot of these, too. So here's our finished character, and we can have him hold his little his little bag of noobs, I guess. Okay, how do I... No, I'm going to put it on the other side, because you want to have that facing outward. That's the only way I'll be able to do it. There we go. So he's having his bag of noobs, but I don't know what he's going to do with it. I guess he's just going to walk around. Maybe he's like the green giant and these are like average sized people. Who knows, but you... Oh no, you can't put them on top of there. I thought the other ones did. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it's just if you want to stack them. Those little pegs here are for the bottom. Like you can kind of stack them and they won't wiggle too much. But came with the exclusive virtual item. And then our checklist, which is huge. So we'll go through quickly. Let's make some room though. All right. <laughs> yeah, and I do have Roblox, you guys. I know I've been saying um, I add it. So it's the same as my YouTube name. Um, just send me a friend invite or friend request, and then um, I guess let me know who you are too. Um, yeah. Oh, this is a bunny. I have a bunny scarf just like this. I have it on mine. And then let's see. Do we see ours? Can we see it? Can we see it? Ooh, I like the wings. I like your wings. Oh, it's got a rainbow. It's like the, the nine and cat. Neon cat. Oh, okay, here. The noob within. Oh, okay. Well, everyone was a noob at one point, right? So be nice to noobs. Vehicles. Oh, the shark. And then the duck. Ooh, I really like your wings, too. I like those ones, too. I like wings. The wings. And there we go. There we go. There we go. All done. So that's the checklist inside those blue ones. But I think some of those might have been multi-packs. Yeah, the core packs. So these ones on the back, the second half of the checklist that I did, these are in packages. The mystery boxes are on the first side. So... If you're looking for those, that's what's in those ones. All right, so now we need to do two more questions. Here is an easy one. Someone was asking for an easy one that's about me. It's pretty easy if you've um, if you've known me for a little while. Um, a lot of times people say it or they ask me, so it gets brought up every once in a while. But um, here it goes. What month is my birthday in? Um, I have not played Animal Jam in a while. Uh, there's just so much I have to do. I just, I wish I could play everything and do everything, but I just run out of time in my day. So, yep, Giga's World, she got it. It was March, but um, let's see. Felicia loves you, March. So we'll do Felicia loves you. There we go. Kika knows me. So Felicia loves you. All right, so that was the easy one for you guys. Um, here's one that's just random. I don't know. I started just getting questions that I just thought of, and so it's nothing to do with even toys really, but it's something that you could get if you know it, I guess. So how many cards are in a deck of cards? So that's, a, that's the question, guys. How many cards are in a deck of cards? 
what day in March? Uh, the 25th. So not including the jokers and stuff, I should specify. So how many cards are in a deck of cards? Felicia loves you. You got it again. It's 52. So just the regular cards. So Felicia loves you. Did you get your package, Felicia? By chance? Felicia actually won the um, LL Surprise. She was one of the two winners for the LL Surprise giveaway that I did in December. So, 54 with Jokers, yeah. You guys know what the Jokers are for? <laughs> so in case you lose a card, you can make a card with the Jokers. Um, let's see, I think that was it, yeah. And then I start another odd one. So, all right, um, let's see, what are we gonna do now? Let's try, how about the Mighty Beans? Can we check the first one on this one? We check the first one. Let me see. Um, yep, the first one that came in is Felicia Loves You. So, okay, let me go ahead and do this. All right, so um, Mighty Beans. There's two beans inside, and I know that they have like a bean that looks like a cookie, and it looks like Cookie Swirl C. So I'm hoping that I get that. I've seen a couple people get it. I don't know how rare it is to get, but these, um, they're pretty cool. I guess we'll get in there and then see. And there's like no way to tell what's inside of here. Um, it's just random unless there's a placement in the box, which I don't know it. I just grabbed one. So hopefully we'll get some cute ones. We might get some monster looking ones, but again, these are really cool and you'll see what they do in a second. It's almost like an LOL surprise. There should be a sticker here, a secret message or something. There's a couple different layers. The zippers. Ah, oh, zippers, guys, zippers. No, no more zippers. At least they, they tear kind of easy. All right, so what did I get? I got like a giant workout bean or something. Look at all his muscles, yeah. He's got the veins popping out. He's, he's, having, he's struggling. He's definitely having a hard time. If I was trying to lift two car tires, I'd be having a hard time too, though. All right, how do we get this up? There we go, okay. So, oh, inside it's a, it's a crazy bean. Kind of reminds me of Taz. But uh, let's see, it's a cat with fleas, oh, or ticks. Oh, they look more like ticks. Ticks are not fun. I've fortunately never had that problem. So this is number 24, the Itching Kitten Mighty Bean. Oh man, Itching Kitten. So let's see, you guys can see it. So you tip it and it kind of just rolls and it'll stand back up on its own if it doesn't have anything obstructing it. Nope, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can roll them around. There's a whole game with this, and I'm not sure how to play it. If any of you guys know, I have a younger brother, and I know that we had similar toys like this growing up. So I don't know if they were called Mighty Beans, but yeah, we had something just like that. So here's our other one. Looks like it's supposed to be like Robin Hood. It's got a bow and arrow. And then it is Archer Mighty Bean. So this is the um, Hawkeye Mighty Bean, just a little less um, charismatic there. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but they're both orange and then this. And I don't know if anything is supposed to relate to anything else in here. It doesn't really look like it because it's a workout bean and then it's a cat and then an archer. But we've got a checklist and so we'll see what this is all about because this is my first one ever opening. So. Beans Collector's Guide, and there's Common, Rare, Ultra Rare, Super Rare, Mighty Rare, and Limited Edition. And I don't think I'm going to have any one of those. And they actually had numbers, so let's go ahead and skip down to number 24. We got number 24 is right there, the Itching Kitten, and that's red. So it's actually a rare. So the Itching Kitten Bean is red, and that is rare. And let's see, the Archer was number... 30. So number 30 is going to be real close, right there in the very next row. Oh, so that was a restaurant bean, I think. 
No, no, no. Okay, it's a pet bean. I was gonna say. So below it is what is above it is the um the thing it is. So it's a pet bean, itching kitten. So medieval beans, archer bean, and it's a blue, and that is a common. So um here is the rest. I don't see a bunny bean. Oh no, I see it. I found it. Never mind. It was right next to the cat. Zapped rabbit bean. Oh no. It's like an electrocuted rabbit. Oh, you know what? It was chewing on a cord. Okay, yeah, that is actually something you have to watch out for when you have a rabbit because they do like to chew on the cords. They're right at the height when you let them run around the house. So there's all that. There's so many. And then there's more on the back. It's a long checklist, you guys, but here we go. Egyptian beans, zombie beans, reptile beans, big teeth beans, mask beans, influenza beans. Oh, there we go. There's the cookie swirl sea bean. I told you guys. Squirrel stampede bean. Oh, my goodness. Sandra Roo kids, busy toy bean and toy review toys bean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Two-faced beans. And then, oh, yeah, what is that one? That one, what is this? Doesn't have a number. Is this is this considered a bean? Is it on the checklist? Work is there workout beans? Did I see that? Two-faced beans. No, I didn't get a two-faced beans, but the golden beans. There we go. Those are the ones you want. But here it is. Knock it out. And there's the game. So if you get one of these, you can get one of those. And I don't know that any of the ones that I got, like the big one. He's, he's, he's gone, but I don't know that the big ones are on the checklist. I would think that they would be, but I don't see it. Sports beans, maybe? No? Okay. I won't spend any more time, because I know I've been, been a while right here with these beans. and we'll, We're going to ask some questions. So, okay, here you go. What U.S. president appears on the $10 bill? That's a hard one. I wonder how many of you guys know this, and how many of you guys are having to look it up right now. Which U.S. president appears on the $10 bill? <laughs> oh, I love Evie. So which U.S. president appears on the $10 bill? Not Washington, not Lincoln. Nope, not Jackson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep guessing, guys. I haven't seen it yet. Which U.S. president appears on the $10 bill? Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Fire Angel. You got it first. So Alexander Hamilton is the president that appears on the $10 bill. Fire Angel. See, the downfall of being left-handed, I get... I write across where I, or I drag my hand across where I just wrote and I get marks on it sometimes. All right, so next question. Here's something easier. It's got it's more toy related or, you know, something that you guys would probably be more interested in. So, what is the name of the nice dog in the Disney movie Up? So, the Disney movie Up, and there's a, there's a bunch of dogs in there, but the nice one. What is the nice dog's name? What is the nice dog's name? Let's see. Doug. Doug is correct, and that's totally Descendants. Doug. And it is spelled D-U-G. I thought it was D-O-U-G until I looked it up. So, totally Descendants. I know what that is. It's like a T and an S together, but there you go. Totally Descendants. You got it. And we're back to another opening. So let's see. I'll show you the last thing that I had to um, show you. So another thing in the prizes will be this Disney Princess bracelet. Its bell says never give up and it's stretchy. And it's actually made by the same company that makes Jojo Siwa bows, the, um, her accessories. So that's pretty cool, I thought. I noticed that when I was putting it out. And I was like, oh, I didn't know they made anything other than bows. I've seen them make a couple different bows, though. The LOL Surprise bows that I had in the giveaway, they were made by her accessories, too. So um, let's see. 
Which one? I've been very curious as to this. I have never um, opened up one of these, but I found these, guess where? At the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, any blind bag that's a dollar, and especially because it's super cute. They had different colors. They had green and blue and pink and purple. But um, yeah, th that's just really cute. You can reuse that decoration, lots of things. There's tons of things I could think of to do to use this with. But I guess it's series three, Crystal's Babies, and it's by Crazy Art, which they're, they're usually with like crafting supplies, so it surprised me. But you can see through this. Um, I know that I used my phone to shine it a little bit better, but I'm trying to figure out which one this is. I know that on the box that had it, it's something with ears. I know I picked only a few because I'd just gotten ones that I would like like to keep or something, but because um, they had like this one that I didn't really like very much. I think it was like this one. If there's a checklist, I think there's probably going to be a checklist in there, but we'll get in there and see. But yeah, it just wasn't very cute to me. I really like the animals more than anything that's supposed to look like a person or a little gnome or anything, but... Yep, let's see. Do both of them come undone? Oh, okay, okay. So that's how we get it. Oh, there we go. So it's a little unicorn. Super cute. I mean, this, I mean, for a dollar, this is a great deal. And you could even put like glitter on this and make it like super, super shiny and cute. I love just putting things. And I'm actually going to be doing that with a lot of things um, coming up. I'm just going to be, I think, just adding more glitter and gems to stuff to make them cute and give you guys ideas to do it to your own stuff with your parents' permission. So this is Uma the Unicorn. Let's see if we can get that focused. There we go. Uma the Unicorn. And checklist. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, here it is. So you can have it like this, you can have it like this, so you can store her inside of there. You can even just put like a little bit of like tiki tacky and then she'll stand up right and you can look at her through there. But it is a little bit hard to see her. So you can just do whatever you'd like or on top, tiki tacky. She's really cute. She stands. She was standing a second ago, right? Maybe not. No, okay. She's going to lean on her thing. Oh no, there she is. See? All by herself. Wow, they have all the different series in here. Okay, well, here's series one. We're on series three. So there's a lot of different color variations for, for each. It looks like Dizzy is a bunny. Dizzy's a bunny. That's adorable. And then the babies, series two. There's not bunnies in there. I can't ask for bunnies every series. Then Baby Series 3. So here is Uma the Unicorn. And it doesn't look like they have any different rarities for them. But um, yeah, Dakota the Dragon, Faith the Fairy. I just didn't really like that one that much. And then Gigi the Gnome. I didn't really like that one that much either. The face is really cute, the little nose and everything. But um, I liked the animal ones better. For sure the Unicorn. Um, and the Griffin was pretty cool. And then Brianna the Butterfly. I know I have one of those in another one that I have to open. And the Pegasus, I believe I have that too. Mia the Mermaid. She just wasn't very cute to me either. Like, I don't know. I think her hair kind of throws me off. I think it should have like a little bow on top and that would make it. I think there might be one on the side, but I think it should have been bigger. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. Oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. So, Series 1 Blings. I don't know how easy these are going to be to find. I've never seen them like at Walmart or anything. Just at the Dollar Tree. So, oh, Dash is a bunny. For some reason, I'm remembering these. They used to have them um, at Walmart a while back, maybe like a year and a half ago. And I think I have Dash. So, yeah, I do. Yeah, but they were in something different. They weren't in uh, a little diamond shape. So, all right. I remember these now. When I unpack more things, I might find it. But let's go ahead and get on to two more questions. <laughs> I already have my questions right now. I don't think I have any Monster High ones. I'm pretty sure I don't. But um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to try to get some more variety of questions next time. But here is question number 21. <laughs> this, is, this might be a little bit hard for some people, but I know they've brought this cartoon back. So who is smarter than the average bear? 
Some of you guys might have heard that or seen it. So who is smarter than the average bear? Oh my goodness, I, if, I knew if somebody was gonna get it, it was gonna be Kitty Sam's World. I knew she would get that. I knew her mom would know that at least for sure. So um, Kitty Sam's World got it. Oh, my pen. Kitty Sam's World. There we go, Kitty Sam's World, you got it. All right, um, question number 22. What are baby frogs called? So this is another one of those random ones, you guys. It's nothing to do with toys, but it's trivia, it's trivia. So what are baby frogs called? Your teachers did not send me. This is just random trivia. <laughs> Tadpoles, Felicia loves you, you got it. Yep, this is good. Alicia loves you. All right, tadpoles. Tadpoles, I've seen all kinds of tadpoles. Really, really tiny ones and big, huge ones. It's really cool when you find them in the wild, but um, leave them there because usually, unless you've got a, someone very knowledgeable, you know, they won't make it at home. So it's sad, but. Uh, all right, so we've got four more things to open up. The Charm You, My Little Pony, Squinkies, Dewdrops, and Calico Critters. What next, you guys? <laughs> Which one next? The My Little Pony, the Charm You. Okay, here's Charm You, My Little Pony, Squinky, Dewdrops, and Calico Critter. <laughs> I kind of was saying I'm out of order. Okay, so I see my little, oh, I actually see Charm It Up. The Charm It Up came up first. I was going backwards. So the Charm You, I've opened up um, a couple of these, I believe, and I got these at Toys R Us before they closed down. So um, in the United States, at least, other countries still have them. There is a um, little hole here, so a vent hole, then you can slide your charms around, but unless you know the charms that they have, then you probably won't be very good at picking what you want. This one I can see it has a little eyeball, but it's yellow. You can't really feel the shape. It's kind of round, so I don't think it's going to be like a star. And then the other one is, let's see if we get it over there. It's blue and pink, but it's got, I don't know, some rough edges. When I got these, I just grabbed them. I didn't try for any particular one, but we will see which ones we've got. From the ones that I do have, I remember I got an apple, and <laughs> that's all I can remember. Just a green apple. All right, here we go. Here's the two that we got. It is Miles Treadway. Let me get this up there for you. Miles Treadway, and it's a sneaker. It's a high top shoe. And Penny Candy, so a little yellow sweet right there. Both cute. That's funny. I think, whenever I think of shoes, all I can think of is high top shoes now. So, here is Miles. Oh, it's got a little mouth right there, I think. Yeah, so the whole face is right there. I think the, you can see it right there. But there we go. Put some rhinestones on this and it's definitely something JoJo would wear, right guys? Pink and blue, hot pink and blue. And the little candy, it kind of looks like a fish. If it had a tail back here, it would totally look like a fish. So, and they do have these little lobster claws, which I love. Like, these are so good. And then you can, you can these are really, I mean, they're, they're really small. Um, you can see, there's my fingertip. And um, these would be good for, like, if you want to hang them on your shoes or if you have something small like your wallet, because sometimes it's not nice to have a big keychain, but these are, like, perfect for like, little things. So... Or a zipper, like a little tiny zipper pull. It just depends on your preference. But yep, that's the Charm You. I think they were only like a dollar at the time. But I don't know how much they are regular price. So, um, let's see. Uh, next, next two questions. Um, all right. What color are emeralds? Yeah, Fire Fire Angel was Erica Eblen on other one. 
So what color are emeralds? Green. Grace the toy princess. You got it. Emeralds are green. So grace the toy princess. Typically green. There we go. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, okay. <laughs> I know a few people in here will know this. Um, some people will be totally confused, but here it goes. What are you doing when you're flossing like a boss? So what are you doing? When you floss like a boss, what are you doing? And it's not flossing your teeth, in case you guys are thinking that. <laughs> Grace the Toy Princess, you got it again. You're dancing. <laughs> So Grace the Toy Princess, and that is a Fortnite reference, you guys. Grace the Toy Princess. Princess. You must play or know someone that plays, or seen videos or advertisements or something. So, getting food out of your teeth, yeah. That's, yeah, they, I don't know if you would call yourself a boss when you're doing it. Like, you're doing it so good. I'm flossing my teeth so good. But, yeah, um, floss like a boss is a dance on Fortnite. So, I thought that was funny. All right, uh, next one. I believe I saw My Little Pony was the next request on there. So, My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew. This is Series 1, I believe. Uh, I know they have a series two that's a purple, and I don't know if they've come out with another one yet. So this is series one. It's pink, and I don't know if I think that might mean series one. I don't think it just means like one figure, but you get like a figure and a little. Um, what does it say? Where is it? Where is it? I guess it doesn't say. Maybe it does over here. Cafeteria cuties. But you gotta get like a figure and a little. Like vehicle or item that comes with the pony, but um, we'll see what this one is. And I've never opened one, so it's very interesting the packaging there to me. It's kind of like a puzzle piece, a barrel. I've never actually seen one opened either. Alright, so I guess we just slide it over and there it goes. And okay, so you can stack these maybe. But it's a nice little display, I guess, for your um, little pony. Oh, okay, it opens too. Thank you. Didn't want to have to squeeze that out. Oh, and this comes out. Maybe it's a coin. Maybe they'll start doing something like you can mail these in and get stuff for it. I don't know. But it has a little paper background. Okay, it's a sticker, so we don't have to worry about that coming off. There you go. And that's cute. And checklist. Thank you, guys. I love checklists. And um, other than just opening it, I don't think there's a hack. But I know who this is. Do you guys know? I for sure know who this is. Let's see if you guys do. <laughs> Let's see. My Little Pony. Who is this? It's Twilight, you guys got it. It's Twilight. So she came with um, little french fries and then a stand as well. So she can just stand by herself. So we can put her on that. And then I guess just to, um, let's, we can set her up here. Ta da! And then she can stand inside of her cafeteria. And by the looks of it, um, I'm pretty sure that these are stackable. It, yeah, they're definitely stackable. So when you have more than one of these, you can just stack them up on top of each other and display them like that. So that's really nice to make the display case like that. Makes the package useful, and then it makes a nice little display case. So here she is inside her french fries. And then, let's see. Oh, her, her glasses come off too. And there she is with those off. 
All right, I don't think the hair comes off. Maybe it does. No, okay, I think I just heard the plastic or the glue starting to be like, no, 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 it's not supposed to. So the body doesn't move or the head doesn't move, I should say, and um, nothing else is interchangeable, but the glasses do come off. So if you'd wanted to put those on another character, and I believe these come with, um, there's some of the figures, like the girls here, the Equestria girls, and I've seen the actual ponies. So two different kind of things in there that you can get. Um, an Equestria Girl or the actual My Little Pony itself. But uh, let's move on to our checklist and see. I guess I could have just shown you. <laughs> and so collect all 24. You can see oh, there's DJ Pawn and oh, I can't remember the name right now. I'm drawing a blank. This, this is not this is not Celestia. Let's see, this is uh, Kika's favorite. I can't think. Is it? No, it's not Celestia. Kika, who is this? You're still there. Rainbow Dash, um, Sunset Shimmer, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershy, and then there's the Equestria Girls, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, Twilight Sparkle, which is the one we've got with French fries. And then Applejack, Fluttershy, I believe that's supposed to be um, Derpy. And then, um, uh, the, uh, it's like her, it's Prince, Prince, it's not Prince Charming. Who is it? Prin I can't think of the names. Princess Cadence, there we go. Princess Cadence, thank you guys. But um, yeah, and then Spike and uh, I want to say it's Blossoms, but I'm not sure. But Watermelon, that's cute. Also look for these sets. So I did see sets at the store too. But um, this is Series 1. And on the back, it's the poster. Twilight Sparkle. So she loves an easy snack to eat while she studies. I like an easy snack too. What do you guys usually snack on? What's a quick snack for you guys? I think I do chips a lot. I'm trying to do better, but it's chips are usually ready, readily available. But when I do um, have some time, I'll, I'll cut up like cucumbers and squash and I'll have like the sour cream ranch dip that you can make with like the little packets. If I have a bunch of that, I'll usually eat that for a day or two and that'll be my snack so I can stay away from chips for a while. It's too many chips is just too much. All right. Um, Cookies, chips, muffins. Oh, if muffins are available. I like soft cookies too. Like I don't like a whole lot of cookies. Um, and I feel bad because every time I get asked to buy Girl Scout cookies, I usually say no just because after a few boxes, I don't know what to do with them anymore because I don't eat them. <laughs> but um, I like soft Oreo or soft chocolate chip cookies or the chocolate chocolate chip cookies like from Subway or an Oreo dipped in milk. And that's about it for cookies for me. I don't I don't do a whole lot of cookies. So, um, fruit with chocolate sauce. Oh, is that readily available at your house? I want to come over there. Chocolate sauce. Mmm. Chips. Yeah, see? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Chloe the Snow White Tiger likes pumpkin pie. They actually have these little pumpkin pies at Walmart, which are like 50 cents. So, um, I'm not a big pumpkin pie eater. I don't, I don't actually eat it at all. I don't like pumpkin pie. <laughs> But um, I just don't like pie. I like the crusted pie, so I don't even like apple pie. You guys are going to think I'm weird by the time you know everything about me. But, yeah, I'm not huge on pie. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, if you go to Walmart, check the baker department if you like a quick pie. And usually your parents will be okay with 50 cents. Or you even have 50 cents. It's just it's 50 cents. But they're at, like, the super Walmarts. I don't know if they're at the regular Walmarts. I have seen them sometimes. I take it back. When I lived back in California, they had them at the regular one. So, um, yeah, and I, I'm so weird. I don't like sushi either. Like, there's so many things that so many people like, and I just don't like them myself. And I, I'm like, I wish I liked it, but I just, even, like, as I grew up, like, certain things changed, and I liked things, but some things just never changed. And pie, I just, I'm not fond of it. So, <laughs> weird people do rule. That's right. And, yeah, I'm not crazy. I am unique. Everyone is. So nobody has to be the same, but yeah, so many people are shocked when they're like, here's your pie, and I'm like, oh, I don't want any pie, I don't like pie. But give me a piece of cake, I'll eat that cake. But it does depend. I don't like the German frosting with the coconut. I don't like coconut. So, but yeah, give me the corner piece with like nice buttercream frosting, and I'm happy for five minutes until I get the next piece, and then I'll be happy for another five minutes. So, And with ice cream too, I need it with some ice cream. All right, you guys ready for a new question? 
two questions actually. Yeah, raw fish. But you know what? There are some that um, don't have raw fish in them. They have like um, like the California roll. It's crab and cucumber avocado with the rice and the um, the seaweed. So, all right. Uh, next question: What is the largest mammal in the world? I was just kidding before you guys. As teachers did send me, they gave me these questions for you. Your science teacher wants to know what the largest mammal in the world is. Kylie Sparkles, you got it. It's a whale. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Caden's World was right above you. It was just below their name because their name's really long. So Caden's World, you got it. It's a whale. The largest mammal in the world is a whale. Caden's, I almost wrote whale. Caden's World. You guys never knew this was going to be educational too, huh? So Caden's World, there you go. And our next question. What is the name of Jaden Siwa's girlfriend? So this one's not from your teachers, obviously. <laughs> what is the name of Jaden Siwa's girlfriend? Great white sharks are really cool. They, they're scary, but only if like you're in the water with them. And I know other people disagree, but I would still be scared if I was in the water with a great white shark. So, the name of Jaden Siwa's girlfriend. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it's not Brittany, it's not Charlotte, it's not Allie, it's not Sally, it's not Miranda. It's not Allie, it's not Nikki, Christy or Casey, not Brittany, not Sarah, not Miley. Jaden Siwa? Jojo Siwa's brother. Let's see. Oh, I bet you somebody's going to have to look it up then. Oh, is this going to stump you guys? I thought this was kind of kind of known too. Kylie Sparkles, you got it. You had to look it up, huh? It's Claire. Um Claire, she's so sweet. She she's um she's very nice. You don't see her too much, but um yeah, he does post about her every once in a while. So, Kylie Sparkles. All right, there we go. Kylie Sparkles, you got it. All right, so we're moving on to our next one. We've only got two left, the Squinkies Dewdrops and then the Calico Critters. And I believe I saw the Calico Critters come up first, so we'll do that one. The Calico Critters Baby Band Series. There are eight to collect, and I have opened up one of these before. I believe I got this one. A bunny would be nice, the violin or the drum set, but I mean, they're all pretty cute. Or the little chipmunk there, but I really like the drum set. Or the piano, because the piano is really cute down there for the kitty. But um, there's no hole on here, no vent hole, and um, it has a piece of cardboard inside. So to feel it, you'd have to really do some, you'd have to push it out of the cardboard and then feel around. But I mean, if you've got the time, you can do it. Um, but I just grabbed one, so I didn't want to make it too much because there's a lot of them that I actually try to do little hacks for at the store, so I spent a lot of time there. Um, and <laughs> people keep coming by and like watching me, and they probably are wondering, why are, why are you doing this? Why are you here so long? But there's a reason, but I know everybody thinks I'm odd. So um, I'm gonna cut the top. It does show the name, so once we find out who we've got, we'll check on who it is my little mini scissors for the day. All right, oh, and there's another checklist inside. That's nice. You don't have to keep the bag if you don't want to. I usually do anyway, though. For a while, I'll keep the packaging if it's still in good condition, but yeah. You can see there is actually this one. I don't remember if the other one had this, but they've got this one wrapped really good, don't they? Oh, I just saw what I got. I just saw what I got. Can you guys see? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I wonder if it's because it has little pieces with it, like little, little pieces. But yeah, they've got styrofoam, so really good luck to you guys for, for trying to feel them. But look at which one it is. It's the bunny one. Oh, it's so cute. And they are really soft. They're just like the fuzzy pets, the LOL ones, the fuzzy ones. Not the new ones that you have to wash off, but the... um. 
like uh, Crystal Bunny had that soft felt on it. And then let's see what the little accessory is. The little bunny drum set. Oh my goodness. I'll be taking a lot of pictures with this. That's adorable. And it does come with two little drumsticks. They kind of look like microphones though, don't they? So two of those for the bunny's hands. If I can grab it. There we go. Two of those, and then the little bunny drum, which is beyond adorable. It's super cute. I don't think it opens. It has like a little line, but that's just where it came together. So I always like to check because you never know. Maybe it was supposed to be a storage compartment for these, but it is not. So cute. Really, really cute. And the arms do move. They are poseable. So we can put the little drumsticks on there. I don't know. They go towards the outside or the inside? We'll just put them toward the outside so it doesn't block his face at all. There he goes. He's ready. There we go. There. That's good. Look at that. He's ready to go. Really cute. I'm happy I got this one. That was that was lucky. That was there was a lot of bags. I just grabbed it random and it wasn't even in a box. So they were just like put into like a little bin in the toy aisle. It was kind of by the slimes. You guys know in Walmart where they have that area that has like the slimes and the little like kind of dollar toys and stuff. These weren't a dollar though. But it was near there. So the Cal Crocuders Baby Band series. And it has a little thing about them. So this is Henry's Sweet Pea with Drum. Oh okay I thought it told more about them but that's who we got. So there's the other ones you could get. Does anybody play an instrument in here? I play an instrument. I kind of play a few just because the one that I play is kind of, they've got different kinds of it, but um, yeah, I play the clarinet. What instrument do you guys play? If you play one, tell me. That's our last one. We got two more questions. Well, four more questions. Two more questions now and then two more after, but. Oh, play the flute. I play the clarinet very close. We would always sit in the uh, same section. It would be the flutes and the clarinets right next to each other. I see Kylie Sparkles plays the flute. Just Your Everyday Weird plays the tuba. c 18 Forever plays the xylophone. That's really cool. The violin, Madeline Darling plays the violin. I had an option to start band in, I think, fourth grade. And it was only instruments, stringed instruments that we could play. And um, I just didn't. Uh, I started the next year on clarinet, but at a different school. So uh, let's see. Kitty Samswald plays the clarinet. Um, is o Orinka? I'm, I'm not sorry. Which Macy? I'm not sure what that word is. Um, you used to, totally descendants, used to play the baritone. So, um... <laughs> she said, do you love me? Yeah, I know that song, Anna Banana. Uh, the recorder, Angelica Loves Anything, plays the recorder. The recorder is a lot like the uh, clarinet and flute. Well, not, I mean, a lot, but it's the same, very similar. I've played the recorder, but I wouldn't say I'm like a, like, I would know how to play it, but I've played some songs on there. Um, Summer Douglas plays the recorder. Madeline wants tacos. I want some tacos, too. I want some homemade tacos. Homemade tacos are the best. John Collins, who I know is not John, it's um, his daughter on his account, plays the piano and tuba. That is amazing. That's so cool. So our school has no string instruments. Yeah, I'm going to say that a lot of schools don't actually have stringed instruments, which Macy used to play guitar. Yeah, I wish I could play the piano too. I can play some songs on it, but I'm not a professional. But it's something I definitely would love to try. And totally, if you guys want to do it and it's an option for you, definitely go for it. So, my little kitty. I got some ink on it, I think, from my hand, maybe. I'm not sure, but I can probably get it off. So, let's do our two questions. Um, let's see if any of you guys know this. I definitely know Kitty Sam's World will know this. So you guys, if you know it, type it quick. Because I know Kitty Sam's World is going to get this. Her mom will know this for sure. So, who says, live long and prosper? <laughs> you don't play an instrument, Fire Angel, just video games? Yeah, I play video games too, though. I might play some Roblox after this, guys. I might. We'll see. So, who says, live long and prosper? 
And I told you guys, I know she would know it. Um, Spock, Kitty Sam's World, she did get it. But I saw a couple people right there with it really close, so good job. Kitty Sam's World. All right, there we are, Kitty Sam's World. All right, here is another random trivia question. Not that they all aren't random, but it's just out in the blue there, you'll see. Okay, how many inches are in five feet? So this is like a math question, I guess. So how many inches are in five feet? I don't mean feet like the feet on the end of your legs. I mean like a foot, like a ruler is one foot. So how many inches are in five feet? <laughs> Fire Angel, you got it, it's 60. There are 60 inches in five feet because there are 12 inches in one foot. So you have to do 12 times five and that's 60. So Fire Angel. Good job. I am very proud of you guys. Very proud. I see a lot of people getting 60 and that is correct. Very good, you guys. You're like, oh no, she's doing math. I don't know if I want to be here. <laughs> it was just a little bit of math. It was a little bit of math. So, all right, we're on to our last blind bag and I have two more questions to do after that. So this I got at the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, I love to find awesome blind bags like this. So Squinkies, Dew Drops, I think I've opened up like some sets, but definitely not on camera. So maybe I'll find them when I'm unpacking soon, but um, I've got a lot of toys. So it's Squinky, Dew Drops, Mystery Villa. There's Squinkies and one Dew in a Villa. Um, there was a lot of different variations, I think three different colors maybe, or two and like four different houses. So there was a lot of little, you know, play, like the little container, I guess, the little house for the actual Squinky Doo Drop in there. And then I don't know how many different ones there are, but we will see if there's a checklist. Hoping so, there should be because there looks like there could be a lot, but really cute. I love anything translucent like this and with glitter in it. It's just so pretty. Pink and purple, really pretty together. So let's see. Oh, really easy. Really, really easy. So checklist. Thumbs up for that checklist, right? All right. So we got a bag. That's really, it's really weird. It feels like, um, like a trash bag, but three different sections. Maybe they'll pull apart. Maybe not, but we'll check this one first. I'll cut it just to make it a little easier. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little ladybug. Oh, those eyes are adorable. My mom likes ladybugs. I might just give this to her. Now, I don't know what this is for. It might be to attach it into something. I'm assuming so. Maybe there's like another set. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in there. So, not sure. I'll have to look. But we'll find out who's in our next bag. <laughs> and, oh, it's a little hat. Okay, there we go. It is a hat, and you can see the little rectangle there for the thing to go into. So our ladybug is a reindeer bug, or a deer bug. It's a deer, bruh. It's a deer bug. <laughs> And I like this. This is really cute. It kind of looks like a fox without the little antlers, but it's really cute for a dollar and we still have one more thing to go with that. Okay, so, oh, it's a little, is it a clam? Clam or an oyster? So I think it's a clam, like a clam shell. <laughs> so if we added these to our clam, what is that? What do we call this? What do we call this with the clam and a deer? A, a deeram? A clam, clamir? What would you call that? A clam and a deer together. What names can you guys come up with? <laughs> I can't think of a good one. I think clamir would be like, <laughs> would be like the closest thing I could get to a good name. So then you have the little house. Doesn't really fit too great with the uh, the thing. Let's see, I can pull this forward a little bit. Here we go. So you can just get your guy in there. There we go. So if you're just setting it up, not playing with it, 
There's that, and this one looks taller, so it's gonna be a little bit more harder. But if you already have them in there and then you set it down on top, that displays really nicely. There you go. So yeah, this is not thin. It's it's a nice thickness, and I can't even bend it or anything. But it, from the looks of it, I don't know if we can see the texture that well on the camera. I'll put it up close here. It's kind of like a, um, looks like it's a tree. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. It's kind of like the ridges on the bark, and it's rough. So it's like a tree house. They made with a tree stump or something, but it's really cute. It says Squinkies, so for a dollar, I mean, this is a great deal for a dollar. A reindeer clam, <laughs> a clamor, a clement. <laughs> what a clammy name. <laughs> so, all right, let's clean this up a little bit and then we'll look at our checklist. Oh my goodness, look at right there. I already see something. It's Hoppy Doo. I want this one. Now I'm gonna, oh, I bought them, I bought this maybe like a month ago. I would have bought the whole box if I'd known that there was this bunny one. So now I gotta go see if they have more. All right, I don't know where, okay, here, this is where we can start. So the Squinky Dew Drops Collector's Guide. Drop a dew on your favorite Squinky. Oh, okay, so drop a dew like a hairdo. Okay, so this was our do. This is our hairdo. So green is common, yellow is rare, purple is ultra rare, and then the pink is from the play set. So only the, I guess the ones that you can only get in the play set. So Squinky Valley Acres. This is just not cooperating. There we go. There's all the different ones. Oh my goodness, it's a sugar bunny. It says sugar bunny, right? That's, that's what that says, right? Yeah, sugar bunny. All right, so they have two cows. Those are super cute. Howdy hooves would be really cute. Oh, there's a person. Tuna Tibbs, Kitty Sam's World, and Fire Angel, like Tina Tibbs. Oh, howdy hooves. Where's the second bunny? Oh, right there. There's another sugar bunny right there. That totally says sugar bunny. <laughs> and then Arctic Islands. Here we go. Let's see. I really like Spotty Dotty. <laughs> Melty Marsha. I think those are my favorite. Oh, Bucky. That's cute, too. Oh, there's a Norwal. They call it Nora Whirl. And then Squinky C. Oh, look. It's Marlin or Nemo. <laughs> oh, Toothy Shark. Now you guys all have to start singing Baby Shark. And Gardenia, so garden ones. And there's our little ladybug, so it's green. I totally didn't even look for the other one. The other one's the, the C one, which is pink, pink top. Where are you, pink top? Okay, so pearly pebbles is who I got. Pearly pebbles, pink top and purple in the center. And then that is from Squinky C and from the Gardenia, it is <laughs> Lady Buggington. And they're both green, so they're both common, common. And then on the back, oh, there's so many. Far Away Forest, I love the little chippy toes. That'd be really cute. Or the acorn, acornelius. That's really cute. Jungle Oasis, oh, the zebra, that's really cute. Ozzy the ostrich, oh, wow. Okay, so playset exclusives. There's some of those. There's some ultra rare ones, a cow. They look like they're glittery. But you know what? You can always make yours glittery. But I think they're a mix. This looks like a pig and a ladybug. Oh, it's a lady pig. It is. Oh my goodness, if I just read the name. So these are mixes. There's a dragon pug, a pega kitty, sea elephant, mer teddy, and a unicow. Oh, the unicow. That's super cute. And there's the dews. So I got the deer dew. Oh, something that's not common. So the deer dew is yellow, and that is a rare. But there is the bunny, the hoppy dew. And there's a bunch of others so you guys can see. Yeah, there's a lot to collect, a lot. But at a dollar, I mean, if you had $20, that's 20 of these play sets you could have. So that's really cool. That's a really good buy. So check your local one. I know that they had Shopkins. The Shopkins two packs, different kinds. The, um, the ones that look like a crate, like a box, and then the ones that look like houses. And then um, there was another kind I saw there too. So they have the Shopkins. They're usually like 2.88 at Walmart for only a dollar. 
It was really good. All right, you guys, last two questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Who sings Kill Him With Kindness? So it's the singer herself. First and last name or first name, doesn't matter. So who sings Kill Them With Kindness? Felicia loves you. Selena Gomez. I was worried that maybe people weren't going to know the song title, but you guys got it. I'm not super great with that, but... Selena Gomez. Unless I've actually looked it up. Um, sometimes I think some of the lyrics are the title. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Selena Gomez. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay, let's change that. Felicia loves you. You guys are all looking for her now, right? Like, Selena Gomez is here. Felicia loves you. <laughs> that was funny. I'm glad I realized that. I'm sure I would have seen you guys telling me. <laughs> all right, so, yeah. Not Selena Gomez. It was Felicia loves you that I answered that. The answer was Selena Gomez. Okay, our very last question, guys, and then we'll draw a winner and then say goodbye for the day. Um, question 30, last question. In what Disney movie does a girl trade her voice for a pair of legs? This one's pretty easy. In what Disney movie does a girl trade her voice for a pair of legs? Oh no! Keyboard shut down. In what movie? So what's the movie? The Little Mermaid. Felicia loves you. You got it. Felicia loves you. Alright, so that was my last question, guys. But um, I do do the live streams every Friday from now on unless, um, like I said, something comes up. But then I'll let you know and I'll definitely have it like maybe on Saturday. But I'm also going to have a poll too to see what days are better for you guys if it's Friday or Saturday. So um, I want to be able to, you know, be available for, you know, more of you because I know you guys like coming to this. So um, we'll have a poll. So look for that on the community tab. But it's time to draw a winner now. So um, again, the prize choices will be a uh, pick between 10 of the different random blind bags that I have um, opened up during my live streams or a JoJo Siwa bow. Um, and that's the different prizes you could get for now. I might also include a Roblox gift card later on, maybe, as a prize. I'll see how I can do that. And, um, and we'll... I'll definitely update you guys. So let's go ahead and pick our winner now. So good luck to everybody. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh, I got two. Okay, that means I put it back. Okay, one, just grab one. Is this one? Oh my gosh, it's two, okay. Sometimes they slide into each other. If I grab two again, I'm just gonna have to separate it. Okay, I'm just gonna separate, okay. There we go. Fire Angel! So congratulations, Fire Angel! Go ahead and contact me. My email is sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com or you can direct message me on Instagram. Please make sure to have your parents' permission um, before you contact me. Don't send me any personal information until you've been given, given permission. Um, and I think that's just about it. Um, Unless you're 18 or older, but I know who Fire Angel is, so I know that everything will be fine with this. But um, thank you guys so much for coming. I am so happy to be back and doing this, and I'm so glad to have worked out the bugs. I spent literally like two days almost straight trying to figure it out. But I'm not the only one that's had problems with this. I don't know if you guys know um, the actor Jack Black. Um, he was in the movie The School of Rock. Um, a few other movies. He's the voice of um, the Kung Fu Panda. I can't think of his name. See, this is another one of those times. But he was trying to figure out the same exact thing on the same exact day that I was, and he couldn't figure it out either. He even has a video on YouTube about it because he did start a channel recently. So I did not feel so bad after I couldn't figure it out if he was having problems with it too, because I'm sure he is much more techie and has a lot more help than I do. So. I was just so thankful to be able to figure this out and get this live stream going with a better quality video. And I know I still have to work on getting it centered, but it's all been a while for me. And then also making sure that it's not blurry when it's close up there for you guys. I've got to cover it more. And then 
when it's going like this, it does it all by itself. It's so nice. And then I do hope that the audio is coming in clear. And as you can hear, maybe a little bit. I don't know if the music's coming in, but it's it's a little bit of a silent spiller. So, um, yeah, I um, think that's about it. But, I mean, I'll stay in here for a few more minutes and talk to you guys. And um, thank you guys for being so gracious and, and congratulating Fire Angel. I love it when everybody is so kind um, and understanding because, yeah, they're, I'm only doing one winner now, um, and it's not international anymore. But some of my other giveaways will be. You just have to watch for which ones will be. Um, there's just certain reasons why I won't go over them, but um, I might end up turning it international if I do the Roblox gift card. Or I might do like an Amazon gift card too or something. Um, so it just depends. I'll, um, I'll keep you guys updated like I said. And um, I saw from Kika's World she asked if I like the package that I gave to her. Or she gave to me. And yes I do. Let me actually grab some stuff from it right now. Let me see. I have it within distance here. And I was actually going to do a video on it too. I probably still will. But here are some of the things that she sent me. Give me just one second. Some of the things are a little bit smaller. They're a little bit out of the way there. Here we go. And she made me this bracelet. And it's kind of hard to see. But the letters S-U... Let's see. S-U... G A R B U N N Y H O P S. So sugar bunny hops, and then there's a little pink bow on it. So really cute. See? And then she made this little sticker. Look at how good she drew the sugar bunny. So cute. I don't know if I'm going to put it on yet because I don't want to put it on something that eventually I'm going to. Like a notebook, like if I get rid of the notebook, then I won't have the sticker anymore. And I don't want it to get ruined, so I don't know what I'm going to put it on. I haven't decided yet, but it's something I want to keep forever. But I might just end up taping it instead of using the sticky part of it. So, and then look at this, you guys. She made me this bow. Oh my goodness. She made me this bow with little purple gemstones and a bunny right there in the middle. Super cute. It's got a little clip on the back so I can wear it. I love it. It's so cute. And I do have um, a package from Kitty Sam's World that I do have to show. She sent me a huge package. So I've got to make a video and um, show everything that I got in there. But um, that's cute. <laughs> so, and then I don't know. Um, I think, who was it that... I'll have to go back through. I can't remember who said they sent this to me now that I'm just sitting here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I'm allowed to show that because it does have their name or if I'm allowed to show the pictures. They didn't specify in there, but I will check with them and um, and see, because it would be really cool to share that with you guys. But look at how cute this is. It matches so good too. It's not really clipped on there, but just to sit on there, it's really cute. If you stay, there we go. Oh, <gasps> ta-da! Super, super cute. <laughs> Yeah, so, but yeah, um, I think that's it. I might get on Roblox in a little bit. Um, I know I said earlier in the stream, but if any of you guys missed it, my Roblox name is the same as my YouTube name. Basically, everything is the same as my YouTube name, um, unless I say otherwise. I've seen a few different people who have made names like... Um, sugar bunny hops and then they'll add something or sugar bunny and they add something but um, if you're ever not sure if it's me then um, email me or direct message me on Instagram I do post on Twitter and Facebook but I don't go on there and check things I just post so that is where you can contact me is Instagram or email just to make sure it's really me because someone might say oh I'm the real sugar bunny hops but it's not so I just want you guys to be safe um, sometimes your parents, you know, give you permission if it's a particular person. I know a few people, um, their parents let them, um, you know, play with me, but, you know, they'd be care uh, careful with other people. So I just want you guys to make sure that it is really me that you're playing with or talking to. So, um, just double check and make sure. So, um, always be safe. You never know. But, um, I think I will go for now and keep, um, 
Keep watching for, I guess, notifications. I'm not quite even sure how you guys get it. On the community tab of my channel, I will be posting pictures of different blind bags I wanna open in my next one, and I'm gonna let you guys vote. Some of the ones that didn't win um, or get opened in this one, like the second place ones, I will just throw in the next week's one to open. So other than that, um, keep an eye out for any new videos I may post or anything on my social medias. And that's about it. That's all I got for you guys. But thank you again for coming. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click the like. That really helps me. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.